in Lincoln at Memorial Stadium. We're going to give you the sound of this, the audio from the field. You can hear, you can hear the music now. And the Cornhuskers are making their way from the locker room to the tunnel. They will emerge. You'll see the first red-clad warrior under that uh, scoreboard in the southwest corner. And I predict that this place will come absolutely apart when they take the field. You can start to see them now. And in just moments, they're going to run out to that famous tunnel formed by the band, that corridor of Cornhusker fame over to the east sideline. I want you to hear it when it happens. Meanwhile, the Sun Devils are taking the field quietly out of the northwest corner and assembling over on the west sideline. Here they come. Well, this is what we expected. A tremendous amount of emotion fueled by the events of the week and the first greeting officially uh, to the defending national champions. Arizona stands to toss, selects to defer. They'll kick off and defend the north goal. And you're listening to Big Red Radio. All right, Gary, thank you. Arizona State to get off, deep back for Nebraska. Amon Green at the goal line to the right. And Clinton Child to the left and kicked by Linhart. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. And so it's Nebraska's choice whether or not they want Arizona State to take a five-yard penalty and kick from the 30 or take the ball at the 35-yard line to begin this game. Like they'll take the football at the 35, Kent, because that's, even with a good return game, which Nebraska has, uh, a better than average return and a pretty good field position to start the game. All right, here we go. Nebraska moving right to left from south to north against the wind, which is pretty strong. The first play from scrimmage will be what they call an open set, and it will be an outside zone play. Two wide outs right, one to the left. Frazier, the quarterback. McAvicka, the fullback. And, of course, Clinton Childs, the starting tailback, replacing Lawrence Phillips. Arizona State up there with a four-man front. They're known to come with everything but the kitchen sink and leave themselves vulnerable to the big play with that kind of pressure. Tommy takes the snap. Here's the zone play. Clinton got a block by McAvick. 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 30. First play from scrimmage. Touchdown. Touchdown. the opening snap of the game the red balloons up in the air heading toward the south as Clinton Childs takes it on a zone play down the left sideline for six well that was just the thing they sealed everything off in the middle camp. there were nine Sun Devils within two yards of the line of scrimmage they were loaded up for air on the rush Nebraska sealed it off of the line of scrimmage. McAvicka with the key block on the perimeter and the point of attack and away went child. The snap, the placement, the hold, the kick, and it's up and it's good by Chris Brown. And with 11 seconds gone, it's Nebraska leading Arizona State 7 to nothing. You're listening to Big Red Radio. And the kick by Chris Brown, low. Hitting inside the 15-yard line, fielded on the hop by Hopkins, the 10 to the 15, he's to the 20, he's to the 25, high hurdles and his dump at the 26-yard line. That's where Arizona State will have it first and 10. 
cool in motion right to left before the snap. Plummer, the quarterback, gives the ball to his tailback, and he goes nowhere. May have gotten a yard from the 26 to the 26 and a half. Chris Hopkins, their leading rusher. Plummer takes the snap on second down. Fade pattern, right sideline, man coverage, incomplete. Great play on the ball by Michael Booker on their leading receiver, Isaiah Mustafa. It's third down and nine and a half to go. Well, they tried on their first play, Kent, uh, made the choice, and maybe just to settle the team down with something basic, to challenge Christian Peter. And Peter stopped two attempted blocks. In fact, he didn't lose even an inch of ground and made the play. And now the uh, missed, uh, missed uh, connection on the second down play brings up third and ten. From the 26-yard line, right hash, third and long for Arizona State. Quick count, give to the tailback. He got a couple three out to the 28-yard line. Hopkins and Nebraska has three and outed Arizona State. ASU will punt the ball. The Huskers off to a great start. Lance Anderson, their punter, averaging 36.9 per tote. His biggest kick this year, 41 yards. And Cheatham is deep along with Reggie Ball and Nebraska 26 and 25-yard line, respectively. Anderson gets the punt off. Not a lot on it. It bounces inside the 40 and will be down by Arizona State at the Nebraska 36-yard line. And you will have good field position. 3.41 on the hang time. 7-0 Huskers just into this football game. We are back in action at Memorial Stadium. Nebraska's second possession and second snap. They're ahead 7-0. Child 65 yards on the first play. Tommy under center takes the snap. Inside, he gives it off to Childs, who gets a couple of three from the 26, maybe, or 36 out to maybe the 38-yard line. And there's a penalty flag. Movement at the line of scrimmage right at about the time the snap occurred. Jason Reynolds, their right side tackle, in the neutral zone. We shall see how they'll rule. The referee today is Tom Ehlers out of Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, no indication yet as to whether it's on the offense or the defense. Offside, on the defense. Five yards, repeat first down. So the defensive tackle could not get back. Clinton now with 150 yards rushing. Got two against Oklahoma State, 82 against Michigan State. Tommy under center takes the snap, gives to his fullback. They call it a bounce play. And out to the 42-yard line goes Jeff Makavica. Double tight ends, full house backfield, and you from their 42 on the right side hash, moving right to left, south to north as we watch it from the west side against the wind. Snap to Tommy's own play again. Clinton's got the ball. He's got the first 45-50 into Arizona State territory and down between the 48 and 47 yard line of the Sun Devils. Trayvon Jackson on the stop. Makovica again with another keen block out ahead of Clinton Childs. Well, Trayvon Jackson did a, a good job to even get close to Childs because Makovica had knocked him down and off the play and Jackson showed some real athletic ability to just catch up with the play. But still a nice game for a first down for Nebraska. Jeff McAvicka blocking like a fiend early on in this game. First and 10 NU, 48-yard line ASU. Lester Johnson, a tight end there. Pro trips left. One back is Clinton. Snap to Tommy. Three-step drop. Screen pass left. Ball's got it. Bobbles it around. Nearly intercepted. Ball's incomplete. Reggie Ball took his eye off it. Screen to the left side to Reggie Ball. And in the eye, Tommy, second and 10, option to the left side, the open side of the field, got a block, turns the corner, 45, and run down from behind, knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line, 38-yard line of Arizona State. Tommy on second and 10 gets all but two. And Chris Fishman with a big assist on that play, the left tackle for the Huskers. And it is third down and less than one. Tommy picked up nine on that play, ball at the 38-yard line of the Sun Devils. Double tights, ASU, four down lineman. Snap to Tommy, give to Clinton. He's got the first down right up the middle, inside the 35. Took short of the 34-yard line. So they needed less than one, and Maka again on a lead play, blocking for Clinton Childs. Amon Green averaging 12.6 yards per carry. He's picked up 126 yards on 10 totes of the ball. From the 35 of ASU, first and 10. In motion, Johnson left side. Counter sweep left side. It's Amon Green, got the corner, inside the 35. Inside the 30, dives forward down to the 27-yard line of Arizona State. He picked up about seven. Second down and short. They've gotten Arizona State to suck up on run support. Maybe Tommy goes to the air out of this power look here. From the 27, snap to Tommy. Option right, fades back the pass. He's got a man there. Gilman inside the five, and down he goes at the four-yard line. Well, you called it, Kent. They set him up perfectly for that, and that has been so effective against so many teams that tight end play after they've been chewing it up on the ground. 22 yards on the pickup. Gilman's sixth catch of the year. Hasn't scored a touchdown yet. They say his knee touchdown just inside the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal from officially the five-yard line of Arizona State. 
Huskers ahead, less than five minutes into this one from Lincoln, second ranked Nebraska, leading 7-0. They got it on the right side, hash mark, double tights, wing left, and that's Reggie Ball. Snap to Tommy, it's to McAvicka, penetrates the five to the three-yard line. So between the four and the three, Jeff McAvicka averaging 6.5 yards a carry. Second down and goal, Huskers at the four-yard line of Arizona State. Again, the full house backfield, toss sweep, left side, Amon Green's got a blocker, that's McAvicka. Cuts back in, into the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown, Amon Green. Telling you, Jeff McAvicka as having an unbelievable day early in this game, blocking. And Aaron Graham back to Federal, the kick by Chris Brown. It's up, he hits it. And with 9.53 left in the first from Lincoln, second right Nebraska, all over Arizona State early, 14 to nothing. We're ready for kickoff, 14 to nothing, Nebraska, 9.53 remaining in the first quarter. Here's Kim. And Chris Brown approaches the ball. The freshman hits it high against the wind. Held up like a punt. Underneath it, Terry Battle. He's got it up to the 15. Middle return 20. Plows his way past John Hess. But then again, no. Hess holds on to him. Hawk ties him. Wrestles him down at the 24-yard line. Let's go to that. Mike. We're holding on Arizona State on the return. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. All right. It was a hold. Well, that's the last thing you need, of course, if you're the Sun Devils and Bruce Snyder now. You're down 14 to nothing to the defending national champions. And uh, you get a fair field position on a return and then hamstring yourself with a penalty. All right. Arizona State over the ball. It's 12. Quick count. Snap the plumber. Gives to his tail back. And that's Chris Hopkins. And he is smothered by the black shirts inside. Christian Peter, the first to get to him. Christian coming in with 11 tackles. Third on the team. From the 13-yard line, second and nine, ASU. Plummer under center, man in motion to the right side, five-step drop, Plummer's pocket holds, delivers it complete, and then drop not held on long enough. They'll rule it incomplete. A nice hit by Michael Booker at left corner. He's been in on two nice plays early on. The intended target, Keith Pools. Holding on the offense, decline, third down. And Arizona State on the ropes here early with less than six minutes gone, behind 14 to nothing. They're facing third and long from their own 13-yard line. And so far, the only advantage that the Devils have at this stage of the game is that they have a win and maybe can avoid the field position deficit with the win. No backs in the backfield with Plummer. Three wide outs on each side. Plummer back to throw. Big rush. Hot receiver. Incomplete. Great pass rush by Nebraska's Grant Wistrom for one. And again, Tom Ehlers. Disregard the flag is the indication from Tom Ehlers. They'll call this one off, and ASU's punting unit steps onto the field. ASU's punter Lance Anderson is standing a yard deep in his own end zone. Beat back for Nebraska double safeties Reggie Ball and Cheatham at the 45 of NU. Long snap into the hands of Anderson. Takes a step up, hits it from the three, hits a rocket, and underneath it is Reggie Ball at the 45. To the 50, 45. Reggie Ball, 40. Right sideline, 35. And out of bounds, Reggie. he goes. Reggie Ball, downfield, in front of the Nebraska bench, a 23-yard return. And Nebraska's got the great field position. Again, Nebraska against the wind here in the first quarter. We're almost halfway through it. Moving south to north, right to left. And Nebraska in the ace set, double tights, two wings, and the tailback is Clinton Childs. Tommy Center has the snap, zone play, it's Clinton, got the corner, he's to the 20, cuts back, and falls forward inside the 15, knocked down at the 15-yard line. Good quick beat by Clinton Childs. Again, a double tight end look with two wing backs, one back, that's Clinton Childs, and you at the 15 of Arizona State, first and 10 ahead, 14 to nothing. Option play, right side, Tommy has a great alley around the right side, inside the 15, inside the 10, fight through two men, into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommy Frazier. Tommy Frazier breaking three tackles and getting into the end zone, standing up. And so the Huskers, in an early route, it looks like, a 15-yard touchdown run by Tommy Frazier. And the Huskers on the board with their third touch of the first period. Boy, Eric Anderson. And Ott over there taking out Scott Bondarahi, the linebacker, the leading tackler for the Sun Devils. And uh, the left hand, Aubrey Battle, they were just taken out of the play. Tommy did the rest on his own. Chris Brown, perfect on the afternoon, has missed only one PAT this year. His first at Oklahoma State will try it again. Aaron Graham snaps it back to bedroom. Placement, kicked by Chris, up, and it is through there. And it is 21 to nothing. Nebraska leading Arizona State. 7.35 to go in the first period. You're listening to Big Red Radio. 21 to 
And here's the kickoff. Chris Brown hits it against the wind. High, very short, held up in the wind. And taking it at the 18 on the run. And a huge hit on the return man, Hopkins. He hung on to it. I don't know how. John Hess and Octavius McFarland leveled him. And miraculously, Hopkins held on. They'll give him his forward progress to the 20-yard line. First and 10 coming up for ASU. Dan Hopkins is going to be seeing fours in his dreams and his nightmares for about a week, I think. McFarland number four and Hess number 44. Absolutely, absolutely just leveled it. Ran over it. Shades of John Rood against Oklahoma in the late 70s. All right, quick count again. Plummer back to throw. Pocket holds. Now it crumbles. They got him for a sack and a flag on the play. Jeff Thomas, Jason Peter were there, and a lot of times you'll see a hold as the flag was thrown, and it's a hold. A hold against Arizona State. Question is, will Nebraska take it? That would make it second and ten from the 20, or will they just decline it and make it, or, uh, make it uh, second and 15? Holding on the offense. Decline. Second down. Second and uh, 14 yards to go now for Arizona State. The sack on the play, and let's go down to Jim Rose. You know, we talk about how nationally the option offense isn't in vogue, but that's the biggest headache for Arizona State and their new defensive coordinator, Phil Snow, who's talking to his ends and saying, come on, guys, let's do what we practice. You've got to quit following the eye back and pay attention to the quarterback. See if that works next time ASU's on defense. New tailback in there, Terry Battle for Arizona State. Trips to the left side, tight end right. As Plummer rolls to the left, throws on the run. It's incomplete, poorly thrown. He threw it on the run, missed Keith Poole badly, and now it's third and 14 facing ASU. Third down, 14, Arizona State, their 15-yard line. Plummer takes the snap, takes the screen left, throws it back left, complete, across the 20, out to the 22-yard line goes Keith Poole. And that's well short of what Arizona State needed. It's fourth down, and Arizona State will have to punt it. And here's the kick by Anderson from the 12-yard line. Lots on it. Underneath it is Cheatham at the 34, moves to the right side, gives Brown, still running, and he's going to... Finally, oh, he slipped the tackle out beyond the 40 to the 42-yard line. Kenny Cheatham looked like he was going to be dropped five yards back upfield, and we've got two flags on that play. We have a block in the back on Nebraska, 10 yards from the spot of the fall, first down. There were two flags, so which spot are they talking about? We shall see. They're marking it off against Nebraska, and it will be first and 10 from inside the 30-yard line, let's pause five seconds for station ID on the Nebraska Sports Network. Ryan Schuster in at fullback now for Nebraska, the junior out of Fullerton. Tommy has him in the eye, pro set, flanker right, split and left from the Nebraska 27-yard line. Oscars ahead 21 to nothing. Tommy takes the snap, gives it off to Child. It's a counterplay right side. He's got the 30 and hit out of bounds right in front of Nebraska's bench. Checking up about three. High pro set once more. Quick counts. Tommy's got it. Gives to Child. Swings right side across the 35. Dies forward to the stick. I think he got it. Al Makowitz has got his glasses on it. He's the expert. He says first down. And so do the officials. First down and uh, Child's had a little room, but the thing is, he may have been uh, in a perfect world for Arizona State, would have been tackled short of the stick kit, but because of his momentum and his toughness and his balance, he got just what he needed for the first down to set up the Huskers with the first and 10 at the 38. New wings and a new split to end. Cheatham and the Cluster Johnson, left and right respectively, in the eye pro set. And it's Tommy on first and 10, taking the snap, toss sweep right side. Childs will throw the ball. Childs over the middle. He's got Cluster. It is complete. Play. Custer Johnson's got the ball inside the 30-yard line of Arizona State. They're going to spot it at the 33 of Arizona State. The halfback pass off the toss sweep by Clinton Giles. That's going to be interference on the Sun Devils, can't I'm sure. Three defenders around Johnson, and he comes up with a catch. 33 yards on the play. Let's see if this doesn't tag something on here. Although it could be uh, pass interference and declined by Nebraska, two flags thrown may have been about the same violation. Nonetheless, Nebraska taking a pass interference on the defense, declined, first down. And now they'll move that ball inside the 30-yard line back to the 27 where we first spotted it. First and 10 and you. And they're ready out of the huddle. They want more points and they want a ton of them early. They've already got half a ton. Yeah. Clinton Child, seven carries, 104 yards early on. And uh, double tight end set. The ace for Nebraska with one back. Federal to the left and ball to the right. And Ami takes it. Uh, Tommy takes it back. Fake play, fake goes long. He's got Federal inside the five. In there. Touchdown. 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 Johnny Vettel.
Devereaux with his second touchdown reception of the year. And Nebraska up 27 to nothing on a play fake off that zone play. Tommy Frazier pulled back, found Bedrill, scampering down the middle all by his lonesome and with 5.38 to go. Nebraska with four touchdowns. And here comes Mr. Brown. Tremendous passing efficiency by Frazier and, of course, Childs in the halfback pass, just a simple play action. Nobody paying attention to Bedrill downfield. He was pretty much alone. The DB tried to catch up, but it was too late. Tommy, two for three, 50 yards, throwing it, one touchdown. Here's the PAT by Chris Brown. It's good. And with 28 to nothing to score and 5.38 to go in the first period, we'll be back. You're listening to Big Red Radio. Already 28 to nothing. Nebraska 538 remaining in the first quarter. Here's another Chris Brown kickoff kick. And Chris belts this one against the win. A huge kick against that 15 mile an hour rim. And over the end line on the fly. Chris Brown into the teeth of a 15 to 25 mile an hour win. Hit it over the end line. Some fine sponsors who are making this Husker broadcast possible today include State Farm Insurance and the State Farm agents throughout Nebraska who support Cornhusker football. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Big A Auto Parts and your Big A store, see them about their Husker deals. This game is starting to smell like the Minnesota game in 83 at the Metrodome, Gary. Even worse, 21 points a quarter. Very symmetrical for the Huskers as they put up 84 points total in that game. Uh, this may not get that bad because it's a home game and you can go about eight, nine deep on the depth chart to keep it under control. It couldn't do that up there on the road. Some substitutions defensively. Plumber under center, one back, three wide outs. First and 10 there, 20. Movement before the snap. And we shall see if it's on the offense or the defense. Offside, on the defense, five yards, repeat first down. First down and five yards to go, and the snap to Plummer from his 25. Pocket holds over the middle. It's complete at the 32-yard line, and tackle right there by Duck Coleman is Keith Poole, and that's enough for the first down. Right side, Ash. Found right field left. Quick count again. Plummer to throw, and they blow the play dead. Arizona State first and 10 there, 32 behind, 28 to nothing. Offset eye, Plummer drops to throw, play fake right, throws down the left side, man coverage, it's complete inside the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and that's going to be a touchdown, I believe. Nope, they got him inside the five. Keith Poole knocked down by Eric Stokes, but it was man coverage by, I believe, the right cornerback who fell down. He got turned around and then fell down trying to cover Keith Poole. So a huge play by Arizona State, a 63-yard gain, and Arizona State, first and 10, and uh, threatening to score for the first time in this game. Hard line, tailback Michael Martin. Fullback is Ryan Wood. The quarterback is Jake Plummer, standing in a semi-shotgun. Now he gets underneath center. Or is he gonna call for uh, help from the official? No, he's not. First and goal, crowd wants Nebraska to turn him back. Plummer takes the snap, gives to his tailback. Boom, he's hit down at the two-yard line. Ryan Wood smacked by Doug Coleman. And so it's second down and goal to go. As those big defensive linemen kept Doug Coleman free and allowed him to hit the tailback on the play. Ryan Wood for no gain. Second down and goal to go from just outside the two for Arizona State. They come over the ball on the left pass mark. Nebraska leading it 28 to nothing. 4.28 to go in the first quarter. Double tights, tight wing left, high set. Wing back in motion to the right side. Plummer takes the snap, they give it to his tailback. He goes nowhere. He's cut down back at the four yard line. Michael Martin once more, given the ball. He tried to go outside on the right side and Nebraska defensively there to stop it. It's third down and goal and Plummer calls timeout coming to the sideline to talk to his coach. 3.40 to go, first period, Nebraska 28 to nothing, and you're listening to Big Red Radio. Third down, goal to goal, Gary Plummer underneath center, one back, two wide outs right, one to the left, wing back in motion, left to right, Plummer takes the snap, rolls to the right side, wants to throw over the middle, touchdown to Keith Poole in the end zone, almost all by himself, and so Nebraska gives up the first touchdown of the game to Arizona State by Nice, it's up and it's good. And with 3.35 to go in the first quarter, we've got 35 points on the board. Nebraska 28, Arizona State 7. When Bob Devaney led Nebraska to a victory over Missouri, and it's been filled up ever since. Here's the kick by Anderson. And over end and high with the win. Amon Green, five yards deep, bobbles the ball, goes over the end line, touchback, comes out to the 20, first and 10, and you. All right, Nebraska over the ball, first and 10. Cornhusker 20-yard line, Frazier the quarterback, and again, the two tight end, full house backfield look. And you ahead 28 to seven, Frazier gives it off to his fullback across the 25, and out to the 28-yard line goes Jeff Makovica. 
It will pop up the middle. Lee Cole on run support from his left cornerback spot. Made the stop for ASU. But up the middle goes Makovica, the senior from Brainerd, who picked up 25 pounds of muscle over the offseason. He picks up eight and a half yards. And he looked very quick. And I think uh, Jim made a good point. It just looks as if, uh, in this game at least so far, that comparatively, uh, the Huskers have a group of speedsters in relation to Arizona State. Tommy Frazier, two for three throwing, 50 yards and a touchdown. He's rushed it two times for 24 yards and a touchdown. And here's the snap to Tommy and his give to his uh, tailback, Amon Green, across the 35, dragging people with him out beyond the 40-yard line for the first down. Oh, Amon Green showing power, quickness initially, and then power, dragging those defenders with him. A 12-yard pickup. It was Malky Cuff. One of the defensive ends who finally brought down Amon Green. Well, Ken, I thought Amon Green really uh, showed uh, some tremendous athletic ability and speed last week. He goes 57 yards for that touchdown against Michigan State from the line of scrimmage. And even after he had been slowed down, he still had enough speed to run away from the pursuit. Incredible. Again, the full house backfield and double tight ends with uh, Tommy looking at first and 10 from the NU 40-yard line. Ready for the snap and has it from Aaron Graham. Fakes the counter sweep. Bootlegs right. 40, 45. Frazier cuts. 50, 45. Tommy Frazier down. Diving forward for the 41-yard line of Arizona State. 18 yards on the carry by Tommy Frazier. And so the Cornhuskers moving the ball at will against Arizona State this day. They had 28-7. Less than two and a half to go in the first quarter. Ball at the 42-yard line of the Sun Devils. Before that snap, Stats had uh, Childs with 65 yards. Rushing in the ball, no, he's got more than that. He's got 104 yards on seven carries and a 65-yard touchdown run. First and 10 NU, 42 of ASU. Tommy gives to his tailback, I'm on up the middle, pierces the 40-yard line, and is tall down to the 38-yard line of Arizona State. Pick up a four at second and six as the clock runs. Yep. From the 38-yard line of Arizona State, Nebraska second down and six, 139 to go in the first quarter of play. Double tights, full house backfield once more. ASU with a five-man front. Tommy under center, Aaron Graham has the snap, gives to his fullback, and that's Makovica stood up, and he fights forward, falls forward to the 35-yard line where it looked like he had nothing. He got a couple of three yards. Kenny Cheatham flanked off to the left side. Again, two tight ends, I set for NU, Makovica and uh, Mon Green, and here is the zone play again. It's Amon inside the 35 to 30. Takes a man with him inside the 25-yard line, tackled high and dropped at the 23-yard line of Arizona State. First down, NU. NU first and 10 at the 24-yard line of ASU. Right side hash. Tommy takes the snap, and he bumps into his tailback, throws the ball over the middle, complete to Mark Gilman inside the 15-yard line. He's got the first down. Gilman with a yard more than he needed. He needed the 14, got the 13, and on what looked like a busted play to start with Frazier bumping into Amon Green, Frazier turns, finds Gilman, and throws the strike for 11 yards. Well, Gilman is uh, what you might call a comfort player for a quarterback, Kent. A tremendous target. He's a big, rangy guy uh, with just tremendous hands. As good a uh, set of hands for a tight end as you'll ever want to find. And it seems that he never misses a catchable ball. First and 10, Nebraska, 13-yard line, ASU. Three seconds on the clock. Will end. you get a snap off? Yeah, they do, and they give to uh, the fullback. He's inside the five. He's in there. Touchdown. Jeff Makovica on a trap right up the middle on the last second of the first quarter. A 12-yard touchdown run by Jeff Makovica, and the Huskers end the first quarter leading Arizona State 34-7 prior to the PAT. Looking at it thoroughly demoralized and uh, shocked. Arizona State Sun Devil football team, Kent. They hand the ball off to the fullback. They hand it off to the eye back. They throw it to the tight end. It doesn't seem to matter. They'll hand it off to the fullback, and he'll throw it to the wing back or something. And uh, in every case, it seems Nebraska either ends up in the end zone or for a first down. 35 points coming if Brown makes this. Snap McGram, hold by Vedral, kicked by Chris is up. It's good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Nebraska leading at 35 to 7 over Arizona State. This is the Nebraska Sports Network. Chris Brown, that wonderful looking freshman out of South Lake, Texas, hits it with the wind this time. It's high and it is two yards deep and a, a muff hit the end zone and they'll go down on the knee to touch it back. Some seconds in there. Ogard is one defensive tackle. Here's the pass by Plummer. It's incomplete. Hit the guy right in the numbers and Mustafa couldn't hang on. Second and 10 ASU. From their 20-yard line, Huskers 20, 35 to 7. Opening minute, second quarter, Plummer back to throwing a quick count, being chased, all batted away by Jeff Ogard. 
Jeff Ogard got that right hand up there and put it right back in the face of Plummer. Ogard, the 6'6", 310-pound junior out of St. Paul, Nebraska, who had a pick against Oklahoma State. Looked like Johnny Rogers trying to return it. That Remember that uh, run back by him? Oh, God. Yeah, Ogard may be the uh, Walter Mitty or Forrest Gump of the Nebraska defense. He seems to be in the right place at the right time, always uh, got a big paw up in the air and knocked that one down as we check in with Jim Rose on the field now. A lot of injuries on the Arizona State sideline already. Sean Sueda starting defensive tackle with a bad ankle. There's ice there. Pat Tillman, outside linebacker, ding shoulder. He may return, but Sam Santana, same deal. Inside linebacker probably will not. Third and 10, Arizona State there 20, dropping back. His plumber rushes on, gets it long. The man is there, complete 50, 35, the 30. And Keith Poole's gonna go all the way, out of running. Tyrone Williams for the touchdown. On third and 10 from the 20, Plummer drops back. They caught Nebraska in a blitz. Now, Plummer, two touchdowns yet to be picked. And Arizona State going for two here. Nope, they're going to go for the PAT. So it's 35-13. Just 15, 17 seconds into the second quarter. Arizona State on a big one. And the PAT coming up by Robert Neese. From the 10-yard line, the placement and the kick is up, and it is good. And with 14.43 to go in the first half of play, Nebraska 35, Arizona State 14, you're listening to Big Red Radio. So maybe for the second consecutive game, the team that won the coin toss uh, made a bad decision to defer. Actually, uh, Michigan State took the ball, blew up in their face, and uh, Arizona State deferred. It's blown up in their face. Deep back in you are Clinton Childs and Amon Green. Short kick, and it's Childs at the 9. Middle return to the 10. He's to the 15. He's to the 20. 25, 30. He's across the 35 to 40, and he takes tacklers out to the 44-yard line. Clinton Childs, from the 30 to the 44, took Arizona players on his back. They've gotten some tremendous returns, and they're going to bust one. Maybe today, maybe next week, but they'll bust one and maybe more this season because there's that kind of tenacity and speed on the return team. 34-yard return by Clinton Childs, who's having a day. And you over the ball in their open set. Reggie Ball, wide out left side, wide to the right. Kenny Cheatham and Cluster Johnson. And the eye with Brooke Behringer in at quarterback now. And he gives to his fullback, and that's Makovic across the 45, does the 46, perhaps the 47-yard line, maybe three on the carry. Second down seven, Nebraska, 47-yard line, and you in the open set once more. Brooke under center, Aaron Graham, as the snap takes it back to his tailback, and that's Tiles, 50. He uh, meets a man head on and is driven out of bounds along the right left side line in front of the Nebraska bench, and a flag, maybe. At least the crowd wanted one. Two backs in the backfield, takes the snap. One step drop, throws it out there complete. Lester Johnson hit as the ball arrives at the 40 for a nice five yard pick. A pick up of five, Lester Johnson, two. Second down, four and a half to go, and you at the 40 yard line of ASU, leading 35 14, 13 to go in the second quarter. A set. Snap to Brooke. They run his own play, and it's Clinton Childs inside the 40 to around the 38 yard line or so, and that'll bring up third and short, and you needs to get the ball to the Arizona State 35 yard line. Nebraska over the ball, field left, boundary right, ball's on the right side, hash. I pro set this trip formation-wise. Brook, toss sweep left, it's Childs behind the block of Makovica, inside the 35, the 30, 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Clinton Childs! Childs with a run of 65 yards for 6, and now a run for 38 yards for 6 on both occasions. He owes Jeff McAvicka a steak dinner. Well, McAvicka took out Trayvon Johnson, a corner, the only man that had a realistic chance. Some uh, other Sun Devil defender caught up and gave him a bump, but it was uh, all he could do to even reach out and touch him, and it wasn't going to it wasn't going to slow down Childs. So there's six more, and Brown is in to try to make it seven. Childs with a career high, 151 yards on 10 carries, two touchdowns. Snap, placement, kick by Chris Brown is up. And it's through there again. And with 12.35 to go in the first half of play, Nebraska 42, Arizona State 14. We're back. Here we go, kid. Here's the kick. Chris Brown nails it again with the win. This can't be returned. And it's caught on the fly by Hopkins deep in the end zone. Touchback, Arizona State. The Sun Devils first and 10 at their 20-yard line. And the black shirts back in there defensively. First string for Charlie McBride. Plummer drops, draw play. Broken out across the 30 to the 35 to the 36 yard line. Quick opener for 26 yard line, I beg your pardon. And that was Terry Battle, sophomore out of San Diego. 
And so nice run on first down. They picked up six yards, second and four coming up for Arizona State. Let's check in with Jim Rose. Reynolds, the defensive tackle. Jason just had the wind knocked out of him with Nebraska now piling up 359 in total offense. He may not want to come back, but he could come back if he needed to. Plummer is the quarterback. One back with him. Three wide outs on second and four from their 26. Takes the snap. Three-step drop. Pocket holes. Threw it poorly off the right left side intended for Keith Poole. Arizona State, third down and four. Their 26 under center Plummer drops to throw. Has time, scrambles now, runs it upfield. Good pursuit, out of bounds at the 31-yard line, and he got the first down. Jake Plummer with great feet. He can really scramble. Three wideouts, one back for Plummer. And you with the four-man front. Backers backing off. Plummer to throw. Over the left side he goes. Incomplete. Minner got a left hand on it, but he was turned around and couldn't bring it in. Minner, who picked up his first career intercept at Michigan State last Saturday. At Jake Plummer, 5 for 12, 162 yards, two touchdowns. Now he has him in the offset eye. Quick count again. Pump fake right goes long. And it's intercepted by Nebraska at the 40-yard line. And down to the 36 is Michael Booker. Michael Booker with his first interception as a Cornhusker. A junior out of Oceanside, California. A great athlete. He picks Jake Plummer for the first time this afternoon. Nebraska on the year now with five interceptions, and the Huskers have the great field position at the 36-yard line of ASU. Well, there's the first turnover of the game, Ken, and good pressure on the Plummer that time from the front four of Nebraska. Everybody was coming at it. Tommy's back in, and James Sims is in, folks, and this is the pro trips look. Two tight ends right, two wings to the right, Tommy gives to James Sims, tries the middle, falls forward. Great forward balance by James Sims. Low to the ground, got what he could after initial contact at about the 33. Pierces the 30-yard line for that carry. James Sims averaging only 22.8 yards per carry. Is that all? Yeah, averaged 80 yards per carry last week. Shift before the snap. Clesters a tight end to the right side. Ace trips again. Under center is Tommy Frazier. He drops back to throw. He goes over the middle to Cluster. He's got it inside the five. Cluster Johnson in there for the touchdown. Touchdown. In you and that ace trip set again. They had three, four receivers, two tight ends, and two wings. And the tight end of the right side was Cluster Johnson. Cluster, normally a wing back, is playing some tight end in that formation this year, and he got free over the middle and did a great job running after the catch, bringing people with him into the end zone. Tommy Frazier, 5 for 6, 131 yards, two touchdowns, 28-yard scoring strike to Cluster. Here's the kick by Brown. It's up, it's good, and Nebraska with 10-48 to go on the half, leading Arizona State. 49 to 14. Here's the kickoff again by Chris Brown, and he nails it with the win, and uh, this is unreturnable. Hopkins fields it on the end line. Touchback, first and 10 Nebraska for Arizona State at their 20-yard line. All right, Arizona State first and 10, they're 20 behind 49-14. They keep it on the ground uh, across the 20 to the 23-24 yard line. Goes the tailback, Chris Hopkins. I suggest we may see more of this out of Bruce Snyder to run clock. Second and six, Arizona State. Again, a quick count, Plummer to throw, man coverage, incomplete to pool. Coverage on the play by Leslie Dennis. Nebraska's great cornerback behind Tyrone Williams. Leslie Dennis has, pa has posted the fastest 40-yard dash time of any defensive back in Nebraska history, 4.4. 4.43 seconds, and he's a great student uh, majoring in industrial engineering. And it'll be third and six for Arizona State for their 24. And they break huddle, and they send Poole to the right, and they send Mustafa to the left side in the offset eye. Second down and six, and you with Phil Ellis showing blitz. And it is Plummer dropping to throw, pass pro holds, complete over the middle of the tight end, Bush across the 30, out to the 34-yard line, and a rare first down for Arizona State. Well, Plummer, 6 for 14, 126 yards, two scores, two big plays of 66 and 8. He gives to his tailback across the 35, left tackle to the 36-37 yard line for short yardage on first down. Plummer actually 176 yards throwing, quick count again, and a play fake reverse around the right side. Ricky Boyer, 40 yard line, 45, 50, 45, and out of bounds in front of the Nebraska bench at the Cornhusker 38. Ricky the Rocket Boyer on a reverse from left to right, knocked out of bounds by Mike Bullman. Luther Harden, one rush in. The 
to check the other one. It might be John Hess. And a snap to the quarterback, Plummer, and a play fake. Wants to throw his pocket holes. He goes long. It's Poole again. He'll have another touchdown. Keith Poole in man coverage. I think NU is blitzing once more, and this time, the right cornerback, Wesley Dennis, got beat. Another touchdown for Arizona State. They make it 49 to 20. Plummer seven for 15, 214 yards, three scores. The PAT is good. It was 9-17 to go in the half. Nebraska's lead now 49-21 over Arizona State. They thank these sponsors for bringing you exciting Nebraska football. Valentino's enjoy award-winning pizza. Nebraska's choice for pizza is Valentino's. And by Jeep and Eagle. Here's the kickoff, very, very short, held up in the wind, bounces at the 25, takes a good Arizona State bounce, fielded at the 18-yard line, and the return man out across the 20 to the 22 or 23-yard line, Clinton Child. Rook under center takes the snap, gets it to his tailback, and he's out to the 24-yard line, a pickup of two, perhaps, for James Sims. He runs a 4.4140, a 1.4610. 211 uh, passing yards unofficially can for Arizona State on this day, and I have a feeling this is the kind of game, after that last score where Bruce Snyder, you're probably going to hear him say after the game, you know, if we could have just kept it under control defensively early until our passing game got on track, we'd have been in it. They give James Sims one yard. Here's the ace trip set again. Three receivers to the right, one of which is a tight end close to the formation, and one tight end to the left side, one back. Snap to Brooke Beringer, runs an option play, and he uh, re reverses himself to the right side, picks up a couple of yards to the 25-yard line. Play started toward the boundary from the left side hash mark. Nothing there for Brooke Beringer on the left side hash. Reggie Ball splits out wide left as the flanker. And the split end to the right is Federal. Shift before the snap by the tight end. Left to right is Mark Gilman. Federal in, a, in motion toward the set, and Brooke is back to throw. He's under heavy pressure. He throws it up and incomplete, and a flag. And the receiver, James Sims, I think may have been held up. You could tell that Sims was trying to make his fake and then cut back to his right. And uh, Beringer delivered the ball as if that route would have been run, but it couldn't be. The pass was not catchable. Oh. Therefore, we'll pick up the flag. Oh. There's no question James Sims is being held up, but Bruce Snyder got his way. Jason Simmons in single safety for Arizona State. Jesse Cush at the Nebraska 11-yard line. And he hits it from the 15, and it's a boomer with the win. Tight spiral, sending Simmons back. He lets it bounce. Nebraska has a chance to down it. Can they get to it? And it's going to be down at the one-yard line. A tremendous punt by Jesse Cush. It sailed over the head of Simmons, who is in single safety. And Nebraska down the field. Jared Tomich on punt coverage. Time for the ball. And before he went over the plane, he was able to down it at the one-yard line. They're going to put it at the two. Incredible that he could catch up with that thing and then have enough control to bat it back across the goal line. And I mean, it was it was a matter of hairs before that thing would have been in the end zone. And the black shirts are in there defensively. First and 10, Arizona State from their two-yard line. Movement before the snap and a flag. Jason Peter or Christian Peter jumped. Pat Thompson jumped. And again, if the defense moves and the guy right in front of him pulls up, it's going to be on the defense. You can't draw him off anymore in that regard. And it's offside against defense, Nebraska. Five yards. Okay, let's check in with Jim Rawls on the field. From the two to the five. First and five, Arizona State. Under center, Jake Plummer has him in the eye, turns, gives to his fullback. He's hit and drags a man with him across the 10 out to the 13, 14-yard line. Ryan Wood with a quick hitter off tackle left. Minter with first contact helped by Phil Ellis, but that's the first down as a result of the offside that was first and five, and they got that and more. Well, ASU has lost the field position battle here, but they had an advantage in that they could really open up the playbook on first and five, and now they've got a little breathing room. And so the Black Shirts dig in. Luther Harden in there. Outside rush, left side, Wister. Outside rush, right side. Snap the plumber, give the ball back again. Stood up by Plank Minter and went nowhere. Minter played it tough. On Ryan Wood, the fullback, and so maybe a yard from the 14 to the 15-yard line. It'll be second down and nine. How sweet it is to see Mike Minter back at full form. Now let's go back to Terry Leahy at Network Control and Omaha for an update. Late in the third, it's Iowa leading Iowa State 18 to 10. Illinois now leads Arizona 9 to 7 in the fourth. Back to Kenton Gary and Lincoln. All right, Terry, thanks. Dan McCarney, a former disciple of Hayden Fry, leading the Cyclones against the Hawks and Ames today. Here we go, kid. Arizona State, three wide outs to the right, tight end left, one back. That's Chris Hopkins as rolling right is Plummer. One punt fake, he runs. 
He's across the 15 and slides down the hook slide at the 17-yard line. Wanted nothing to do with that defensive pursuit. And so it's going to be third down for Arizona State. Third and seven from the 17-yard line of Arizona State. Snap the plumber. Drops the throw. Pump fake left. Throws right. And it is incomplete, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, incomplete. Intended off the left side after the pump fake right to the wingback, Lindsey Jackson. As they get set to put it away, Nebraska's return man ball on the right side. And Kenny Cheatham. And Kenny Cheatham line up at midfield. Long snap. Anderson hits it. Good rush from the corners. He holds it up in the air. And NU lets it bounce. Get away from it. And uh, Arizona State digs out of a big hole from its own two. After the punt, NU will get it first and 10 at its own 31-yard line. Tommy Frazier in there at quarterback. And Makovica is the fullback. First team back in there, at least in the backfield. Clinton Childs with 151 yards rushing at tailback. And Tommy takes the snap, and he takes it back. And he gives it to Clinton. He's hit for a loss of four or five yards. And there was defensive penetration there big time by Jason Reynolds. So a loss of three. It'll be second and 13, Nebraska. And the double tight, double wing set. They call it the ace because there's one back. And Tommy under center looks at that Arizona State four-man front. And he calls timeout. Second and 13, Nebraska. Frazier drops to throw, fakes the screen left, throws long. He's got a man. Defense, Cluster Jackson inside the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, inside the 15, down to the 12 yard line. Well, Kent, that's what we were talking about. That's just how lightning quick Nebraska can change the game. Change the field position on you. They're looking at second and 14 deep in their own territory, and all of a sudden, it's first down at the 12-yard line of Arizona State. And Johnson, after the catch, must have picked up about 12 yards. The pump fake to the right side, faking the screen, sucked up the linebackers, and Cluster was deep, picked up 61 yards on that pass play. NU first and 10, zone play left. Clinton Childs tripped up, lost the ball, but the whistle blown. And so NU losing yardage on that play off the left side. Tommy, six for seven, throwing it, 192 yards, two touchdowns. NU moving left to right, north to south with the wind. Double tights, full house backfield once more. McAvicka, Cluster Johnson, and Amon Green now at tailback. Tommy under center in a long count, takes the snap. Run pass option, he puts it behind Green, and the ball is out of bounds. It'll belong to Nebraska. Last team to be in possession when it goes out of bounds, unless you bat it out of bounds, is the offensive team. And for the first time, the shotgun. Amon Green, one step beside Tommy to his left. Four quick receivers, two to each side. Long snap coming up on third and long. And it's to the up back inside the 25, the 20. It's Amon Green inside the 15, the 10. He'll score. Touchdown. 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 That is the very same play. Clinton Child scored on against Michigan State, or, or Phillips scored on against Michigan State last week. Tommy in the short gun, back there, apparently ready to take the long snap. Instead, it comes to the up back, and Amon Green goes in from 26 yards. And with 3.40 to go in the first half, Nebraska in the 50s, ahead 55 to 21. Amon Green, six rushes, 63 yards, two touchdowns. The PAT is up. And the left-footed Ted Ritzlaff hits it through from Waverly, Nebraska. And here's the kick by Chris Brown again with the win. High and carrying deep into the end zone. And in, uh, down on his knee goes Chris Hopkins for the touchback. And it's Arizona State first and 10. They're 20. Plummer throws the ball complete across the 25. He dropped it. He didn't have it long enough. And now a late flag. They've had a face mask there. Well, on the big instant replay monitor, we may be able to see it here. Did they run it already? Here comes the referee, Tom Ehlers. A legal block in the back against Arizona State. Saltzman and Ogar, the defensive tackles, first and 20 for Arizona State after the penalty. And Plummer leaves it on the ground with his tailback. Broke it a little bit, and there's a flag as five yards is picked up from the 10 to the 15 by Chris Hopkins. Holding on the offense. Five yards. Repeat first down. Half the distance Half to the, the goal. From the 10 to the five yard line, it's first and 25. Another penalty, and Arizona State will be huddling up in the state capitol building. First and 25, snap the plumber, gives to his lone back, and up the middle goes Hopkins across the five to the six yard line. Picked up a yard, 
It's second and 24, 23 yards to go, depending on the spot of the ball. With a clock running, 3.15 left first half. And in you ahead, 56-21. You know, this crowd today can't... Uh, obviously, the place is full for the 200 second straight time, but I... I feel, and we speculated on this uh, yesterday coming in here today, that uh, this, there would be a little extra juice here. Uh, and there certainly has been. I hope you were able to listen as the team came out onto the field uh, with their music. It was incredible. Second and 23 for ISU. Quick count again. Hopkins again off left tackle. 20 out of the 10-yard line. Hit hard and pushed back. And that was Doug Coleman. Doug Coleman, a senior out of Ventnor, New Jersey, playing almost interchangeably with little middle linebacker Bill Ellis. And so a pickup. From the 7 out to the 11-yard line, and it's third down and 18 yards to go for Arizona State. Coleman will be personally responsible for several black and blue marks on Sun Devils tonight. He's just been an animal in there at middle linebacker. Say, State Farm Insurance, a major supporter of women's athletics, is pleased to bring you this uh, new women's sports update right after this play. Dime package in, Farley and Warfield in there at backer. And it is Plummer taking the snap. No flag yet. Scrambles upfield across the 15 and again goes down on his own volition, seeing big Jeff O'Cart coming his way. Now we see the flag along the far sideline. The player right across from him pulls up. Normally in the past, that's a legal procedure on the offense. But now it's offsides against the defense. Real bad deal for Arizona State guys. Keith Poole, their great wide receiver, has been taken off the field. Headed back to the locker room with the air cast on. They're going to x-ray that and see if it's a broken bone. I thought it might be the way the trainer was examining it. All right, Arizona State over the ball. Third and long. Give is to Hopkins. Got nothing. Hopkins tackled at the 19-yard line. May have got one. They're going to have to punt. And he waits for it on the long count. And it's delivered to him. And he hits it from the 8-yard line straight up in the air. Held up in the wind. Very short. Takes a Nebraska bounce inside the 45-yard line and down by ASU. Where are they going to spot it? At the 44 of the Arizona State and Nebraska with time to get some more on the board with a minute 37 to go. That was just a 26-yard punt. Snap to Tommy Frazier and the play fake. And Tommy wants to throw when he goes long. He's got Reggie Ball man-to-man. -man. Reggie's got it. It's complete at the five-yard line. Reggie Ball, who had caught two passes this season for 127 yards with another long one. He'd been averaging 63.5 yards per reception. And Jason Simmons out jumped by five foot eight inch Reggie Ball, and that's if he's on his tippy toes. And he was. And so Nebraska, first and goal at the five of ASU. Full house backfield. Tommy gives to his fullback. Magavica got a couple. A little reverse the inside handoff from Tommy to Magavica. The score shows 56-21 Nebraska, minute nine to go in the first half. Well, that answered my speculation, Ken, about uh, whether Nebraska would put up or try to put up any more points with a minute and a half to go until intermission and a 56-21 lead. Absolutely, they're going to go after another touchdown here. Fall off the dogs later if that's uh, the thing to do. Second down and goal, Nebraska, ASU three-yard line, right side hash, double tights, full house backfield, snap to Tommy. He boots to the right off the play fake, looking in the end zone, throws it away. As big number 90, Tim Carpenter was covered deep in the end zone. It's third and goal, and you at the three-yard yard line of Arizona State. Third and goal, Oscars, three-yard line, Arizona State. Frazier takes the snap, runs an option to the short side. He slips a tackle, goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Tommy Frazier. Tommy Frazier with a career day, throwing the football. 229 yards throwing it. His previous best game throwing the ball, 206 yards against Texas Tech last year and the same number against Florida State in the 1994 Orange Bowl. And he goes in on the run as Nebraska's in the 60s, 62 to 21. And has exceeded the 500-yard mark in total offense with that play. Retzlap in to try to add the point to give the Huskers 63 points to Arizona State's 21 going into halftime. Rich Lapp to kick it, the placement, and he hits it up there and through there, and with 39 seconds to go, Nebraska leading Arizona State now, 63 to 21. Chris Brown will kick it off after Rich Lapp split him on the PAT. He hits it at the 35-yard line, and again, it is a gun, and again, over the end line on the fly, and he may have gotten it over the crossbar. A 75-yard field goal if they'd allow it. 39 seconds to go, first half, Nebraska's 63-21. When they hit the 56-point mark, Kent, Nebraska had set a record 
for a number of points uh, in a half. It's a Nebraska record, and now they're just adding to it with 63 here. That breaks the most points in any half, which uh, previously was 55 points versus Colorado back in 1983. So uh, they're flashing it up here pretty good today. Keith Bull, Andre ASU, as uh, Jim reported. Sean Sway to the other injured devil will be checking on uh, ASU and Nebraska injuries, of course, at halftime. All right, Arizona State over the ball. Their 20-yard line, I set, double tights, wing left, quick count, give to the fullback, goes nowhere, and use defense was uh, like a brick wall for Ryan Wood as he met it at the 20-yard line. Arizona State has had enough here in the first half. I don't think Plummer wants another snap. That's going to be, you know, he got the snap, went down on a knee, and that's the end of the first half, folks, and we have a old-fashioned Husker route on tap this afternoon. At halftime, Nebraska leading Arizona State 63-21, and you're listening to Big Red Radio. There's nothing like the loyalty that you find among the Husker faithful all across this country. And again, we're delighted to bring it to you. Here we go. Here's the kick by Chris Brown. Line drive. Takes a bounce. And in one hop, it's over the end line in Nebraska. Well, uh, beyond defense to start the second. In the offset eye, two wide outs left. Tight end right from their 20. Plummer quick count. Gives to his tailback across the 25 to the 26-yard line. A pickup of six. It'll be second and four. The running back was Chris Hopkins. I think you'll see Bruce Snyder run the ball more here in the second half. They want that clock to roll. Ellis Minner and Foreman on the tackle there as we check in with Jim Rose. Guys, finally a decision on Clinton Childs. He slightly strained his knee in the first half. They weren't sure if he could come back, but they've decided now with this lead, no need to bring him back in the game, but not a serious injury Second at all. and four, Plummer back to throw over the middle to tight end Bush at the 30 to the 34-yard line, and Arizona State from its own 20 out to the 34. On the first possession of the second half, picks up a first down there. First and 10, Arizona State movement before the snap. I believe an offensive lineman pulled up, drawing Nebraska's Grant Wistrom across the line of scrimmage. First and 15 for the Sun Devils. Behind, 63 to 21, 14, 21 to go in the third. As Plummer is underneath center, has him in the offset eye. Waiting for the snap, takes it, three-step drop, pass pro holds, guns it left side, it's incomplete, Mustafa, the intended receiver, and he hurt Tyrone Williams coming up from behind. Tyrone with a big stick on Mustafa against the win, and the offset eye, quick count, and the gives to the tail back, out across 30, 35, to the 40, out to the 42-yard line, goes Chris Hopkins, as we said, the leading rusher on this team, averaging 5.2 per carry, and the crowd getting with the black shirts here. First and 10, ASU, they're 41, Plummer to the tailback again, tries the middle, gets two. From the 41 to the 43, Ryan Terwerliger, the junior out of Granton, Nebraska, made the stop from his Will linebacker spot. And with 13.28 to go, here in the third period of play, opening possession, Arizona State moving it. They've got it at their own 43-yard line, and they're eyeballing the chain gang on the right side. Did they get the first down? Looks like it's third down and one yard to go. Go from the 43-yard line on the left side, Ashmark. Beg your pardon, it's fourth down and one to go, and Arizona State will punt it away. And it will be Lance Anderson to kick it away to Nebraska. And you about to get their hands on it for the first time in the third quarter. Looks like they did a platoon change there to bring the punting unit in, Kent. That's why the confusion they had Plummer and the whole gang out in the field. Kenny Cheatham in single safety for the Big Red at his own 14-yard line and backpedaling. Back at the ASU 28-yard line, Lance Anderson, their putter, waiting for the long snap. He's got it in his hands. He hits it from the 32-yard line, high, held up in the air, and Cheatham will not field it. It takes an ASU bounce inside the 20, inside the 15, and it will roll dead at the 13-yard line of Nebraska, where the Cornhuskers will have it first and 10. And you in the open set. As the fullback is Magavica, the tailback of Mon Green, the freshman, Underneath center is Tommy, takes the snap, zone play, and it's Amon behind the block. The Makovica, 25. He's out beyond the 25 of the 27-yard line. From the 13 to the 27 on the first play of the third period, a 13-yard pickup. 13 yards upfield from the hash mark right to the hash mark left. NU first and 10 at the 27. 
double tight, swing right, eye set, send the snap to Tommy, and the give to the tailback, Amon Green. No, the play fake, Tommy throws, intercepted. The return at the 35, all down by Amon Green was Derek Smith who picked Tommy Frazier. Tommy's first interception this year. There for Nebraska defensively, Coleman inside at middle linebacker, give to the tailback, he broke it off the left side to the 30 yard line from the 35, a pick up of five on first down, and Arizona State getting something done here, here in the third period, although not yet on the board. Tailback in there is Martin again, offset eye. Flanker right split and left from the NU30, the snap to Plummer, and the giving in is to Martin, and he's hit at the 29-yard line, got about a yard. Started up the middle, cut off to the right side. Good run pursuit to the ball by Jay Foreman and to Werliger. Big third down play for ASU from the Nebraska 29. Plummer back to pass and a three-step drop over the middle. Tight end's got it at the 25. And he's got the first down across the 25 to the 24-yard line of Nebraska. No scoring in the second half. Nebraska 63-21. First and 10, NU 24. Plummer back to throw. They pick up the blitz and he throws it incomplete. Threw it into the dirt. He intended it for Michael Martin. And so it'll come back to the 24-yard line of Nebraska, second and 10, ASU. And the snap to Plummer, and they get to the tailback, a reverse off the left side, Ricky the Rocket Boyer. He's to the 25, and then Stone under, fumbles the football, and they're going to mark it dead. They're going to mark it dead, pay no attention to what's happening. It's marked dead at the 26-yard line of Nebraska. The flag lying at the Nebraska 26-yard line. Oscars 2-0 on the year, second-ranked. Behind Florida State, here's the right here. official. They were blocking the back on the offense, 10 yards from the end of the run. Repeat second down. There it is. So it's second down and 22 yards to go. Plummer under center, two wide outs right, one to the left, one back. He takes the snap. He looks to throw, looks to the right, there's a flag blowing the play dead. No indication yet on this one, here it comes. Here it comes. Full start on the offense. Five yards. Repeat second down. Yeah, Huskers have had it once in the third quarter. Topped it up on a Tommy Frazier interception. Underneath center plumber. Quick count. Gives to his thrown back. And he's hit at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward to the 39-yard line. Grant Wistrom closing down. Stopping Chris Hopkins after a gain of one and a half, two yards. Third and very long. Difference between Nebraska and its opposition, Ken, in the first three games at least. There was an example of it where... Uh, it looks like things have opened up. It looked like Boyer had a shot, and Wistrom closed it just like that. There's that kind of quickness on defense. Nebraska, on the other hand, will open things up with the line of scrimmage, and that, more often than not, will end up in a big play. There's just that much difference in the speed and quickness of Nebraska and its opponents, at least so far in the season. I don't think anybody expected this kind of a result today. Third and 25 for Arizona State at the Nebraska 39-yard line. Under center is Plummer. Two wideouts left, one to the right, takes the snap. Drops to throw, pass pro holds over the middle. He's got his receiver at the 35. He spins and is tackled at the 32-yard line. Nebraska with good coverage. It was Lindsey Jackson, tackled by Michael Booker. One back, two wideouts left, one right. Fourth down, Plummer to throw. Steps up in the pocket over the middle. It is uh, going to be uh, almost intercepted. It's incomplete. Intended for Ricky Boyer. Mike Minter got his hand on it. After First play from scrimmage, Amon Green from the 32 for about six out to the 38-yard line. Picks his way up the middle, then off to the left side. And the Huskers try to get something done for the first time in the third quarter. Their only possession winding up in a turnover is Tommy Frazier is picked off for the first time this year. I think it was Derek Smith that uh, popped Amon Green in the backfield, and uh, Amon just bounced off him. I'll tell you, this kid is incredible for his age. Here we go. Nebraska with the ball between the 38 and 39 yard line. Left side hash. I pro set. Makovica and Green in the backfield. Tommy takes it back to Green. And he gave it to him across the 45. Cracks players with him to the 49 yard line. And first down for NU and more by freshman Amon Green. 11 yards on the play. Husker football brought to you in part by the Nebraska Beef Council. For beef recipes to fit your hectic schedule, call the Nebraska Beef Council at 800 421 Lean. And by Bud Light. You can always count on the great taste of Bud Light. It won't fill you up and never lets you down. So make it a Bud Light. Seven minutes gone, eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Nothing on the board yet for either team. It's 63-21, same as it was at halftime. Double tights, two wings, one back. That's the ace set from the 49. Tommy under center. Will take the snap from Aaron Graham. And he wants to throw the ball. And he throws it off the right side. Complete inside the 45 at the 43-yard line. Big tight end Mark Gilman with his second reception this afternoon. He's got seven on the year. Kenny Cheatham, I set NU. Tommy under center. Has the snap. 
He pitches the ball out to Amon. Amon is down to the 40-yard line. He's got the first down, depending on the spot of the ball. They stretch him out, and it is. Ah, Al is wrong. They're short. Short about uh, yeah. double tights. Tight end left is Carpenter. Tight end right is Gilman. Flanker to the right side is John Bedrill. Ball on the left side, hash mark, and they wind the clock. Frazier on third down and inches. Maybe changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Taking a long time. Takes the snap. Gives it back to Amon. And Amon broke it inside the 35. And Amon Green is down at the 32-yard line. First down, Eric Anderson and Jeff McAvicka with great blocks for Amon Green. They just walled it off, Kim. They're on that right perimeter. Uh, Tommy read it. They were, the, the Devils are still putting eight guys in the box. And he knew that they were overloaded to the right side, their right side, Nebraska's left side. And uh, Anderson and Ott on the right side, along with McAvicka, just walled it off. And Amon got up here easily for the first time. Amon Green with a career high 106 yards rushing and 11 carries two touchdowns. First and 10 NU 32 of ASU. I pro set. Snap the Tommy. Option right. Tosses it out to Amon. Got a block downfield. Amon turns the corner. inside the 25 and pops out of bounds at the 22 yard line of Arizona State. We'll check the sideline. Tommy's coming out. Brooke Barringer in now. Second half. First down and 10 yards to go. Cornusters at the 21 yard line of ASU on the right side hash mark. And NU in the eye pro set. Cheatham is a split end right. Federal, a wing back to the left side. I beg your pardon. It's a, yes, that's what it is. And uh, McAvick and Green in the backfield. Snap to Brooke Barringer, the top sweep left side. And Green wants to throw. Hauls off with his left hand. Jump ball. Federal's got the ball. And it's incomplete in the end zone. Oh. Oh. Amon Green, a lefty. He Green. Throwing kind of like a girl there, Gary. And the open set. Two wide outs left, one right eye. McAvick. And now James Sims in there at tailback. Brooke under center. Takes the snap. Gives to his fullback. McAvicka goes nowhere. He was met at the line of scrimmage and shoved back. Pickup of one by McAvicka. Third and nine in. You ball squarely in the middle of the field. And Brooke Barringer in the shotgun. Two wideouts left and right. Sims alongside Barringer in the shotgun. And what do we have here? Brooke is running off the field. We have a timeout on the field called by Arizona State. 5.37 left in the third, Nebraska 63, Arizona State 21, and this is the Nebraska Sports Network. Third and nine, Huskers, 21-yard line, ASU, shotgun, two wideouts, right and left, Sims in the backfield with Barringer, snap to Brook. Brooks uh, drops back, screen pass, Sims incomplete. Well, I think Sims saw her footsteps, boy, good coverage on by Larry Johnson on Sims. Well, nope. no, they're going for nope. it, Gary, as uh, Behringer again is in the shotgun. Nebraska's gone to 531 in the third and hasn't scored here in the third quarter. And that will happen at times when you bowled out to a lead like Nebraska did against Arizona State in the first. Hard to keep that up. Hard to sustain that momentum. Brook on fourth down and nine. Takes the snap, runs the ball, pitches out. James Sims at the corner, eludes a tackler inside the 15, pulls his way forward, and may be just short. Jim, what's this been like down there on the Nebraska sideline, given the events of the week? Has it been any different than normal? Not at all. The coaches have been in control. The only thing, the only problem down here has been the lapses defensively. That's been the coach's biggest complaint. Reserves in there defensively. Arizona State up the middle to the gift of the tailback. From the 12 out to beyond the 15 to the 16-yard line, that's Terry Battle. Pick up of three, second and seven. Arizona State, their 16, right side hash. Plummer under center, takes the snap. He boots to the left on the play fake, and the rush is coming. He delivers it complete to his tight end at the 20-yard line. And that was Bush once again. The pass from Plummer. And Jay Foreman on the tackle. Devin Kendall, the tight end that time on the reception, and that brings the ball out to the 20-yard line, where it'll be third down and three ASU. Saltzman and Ogard, the tackles again in here, Kent, on this series. The series, Chad Kelsey at the right rush in. Uh, we mentioned Foreman in there, and we'll pick up the rest as we go. Terrell Farley is in there. And Luther Stokes Martin. is in there at safety, and on third and three, they've got the first down, the tailback right up the gut across the 25 to the 27-yard line, Terry Battle. It is first and 10, ASU, they've dominated the clock here in the third, snap the plumber, and the play fake, and he wants to go long for the home run, man coverage down, field complete inside the 40, and a tackle by Nebraska's Mike Pullman on Derek Charles on a fly pattern down the middle. First and 10, Arizona State, Nebraska's 35, left side hash. NU four down lineman, Plummer underneath center, two tights, two wings. Plummer takes the snap, they leave it on the ground, off the left side, inside the 30, and hit out of bounds at the 24-yard line, 23-yard line. The running back, Tom Osborne, will say, I'm sure, on our post-game show and on the TV show tomorrow, that he will be disappointed with how flat Nebraska was in the third quarter. 
Here we go. On first and ten, it gives the tail back inside the 20 and down to the 15-yard line. Nice Terry battle. So they're picking up big chunks against the second defense. Terrell Farley out of Columbus, Georgia. Nebraska's only Juco recruit out of Independence made the play. Ball just outside the 15 where it's going to be second down and two. Larry Arnold coming into the ball game now with some uh, some of his mates will pick up those numbers. They don't forget that after the game today, Terry Leahy will pass along college football scores from all across the country on the football scoreboard. That comes your way after the game today over most of these Nebraska Sports Network stations. All right, it is second down and two, just outside the Nebraska 15. And they leave it on the ground again in the rear. High back, a loose tackle or another inside the 10, the five, tackled from behind at the one yard line. Mike Minter, a uh, touchdown saving tackle of Terry Battle, who uh, ran over one guy and then turned it upfield, eluded one, another would be tackler for 14 yards. First and goal, Arizona State at the Nebraska one. He won a tremendous move, giving credit. Big time move on Tony Bielan and headed for the goal line where Mike Bitter dragged him down just a yard short. 2.55 to go in the clock running. And you with a conventional goal line now, three tackles in there. Ogard with the Peter brothers. First and goal, Arizona State. They give to the tailback. He's over the top. Hit man short at the one-yard line. Went nowhere. Nothing and nothing in the second half. 63-21 in the game. Snap the plumber. Tailback knifes in there between his center and left guard for the touchdown. And so Arizona State has come out of the dressing room and has played better football in Nebraska. Are they going to say he was down? No, he was in there. And it'll be Robert Neese on the PAT for Arizona State. And they have scored 27, about to score 28. On the big red, long snap placement, kick by Nice is up, and it is through there. We played 13 minutes in the third quarter, and our score from Lincoln, Nebraska 63, Arizona State 28. You're listening to Big Red Radio. Here we go, getting ready for the kickoff. Robert Nice hits the ball, and it's end over end, and underneath it, Kenny Cheatham at the 15 on the left side, cuts it to the 20, right side to the 25, Cheatham with a great block and a great move, to the right sideline, 30, 35, and Cheatham out of bounds at the 38-yard line of Arizona State. Mixture of first and seconds in the offensive line, Behringer, the quarterback, has a new fullback in there, toss sweep left to the tailback, and that's James Sims up the field to the 40-yard line, picked up two. James Sims cut it back up inside rather than swing wide left from the 40-yard line of Nebraska, a set. Behringer under center, drops back, draw play. It's Sims off left side to the 45, broken out to the 50-yard line. James Sims. He picks up seven and a half, eight yards. Adam True on the block. Also uh, from his left tackle spot as Justin Dragu made the stop. And Nebraska with a first down into Arizona State Territory. The ball between the 50 and 49. Adam True from right here in Lincoln, of course, played at Pius, and he's really done a tremendous job as that swing tackle, and uh, you saw it there on that play. Well, heard about it. Schuster in there at fullback. I pro set in you. Snap to Brook. Give to Sims up the middle. He's inside the 45. Rambles his way inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Boy, showing some tough running. James Sims. Number two. Sims, 6'1", 200 pounds. A sophomore out of Omaha. A redshirt sophomore. And he's got the package. Lee Cole on the stop, but popped to the secondary, and the uh, DBs had to make the play. Sims, 42 yards, rushing six carries. Omaha native, moved away, graduated high school West Memphis, Arkansas, and then has been back in Omaha, and now is on the football team. Full house backfield in you at the 39 of ASU. 47 seconds left, third quarter. Brook under center, takes the snap. Zone play again. No, the, yes, it's Sims inside the 35-yard uh, line. And he's down to the 33. So big chunks on this possession by Nebraska as Jason Simmons on uh, his cornerback spot. Oscar's second and long three. The ball at the 33 of uh, Arizona State. Snap to Brook. Option to the left side. No, he gave it to his fullback. And he's got the first down to the 25-yard line. Brian Schuster, the junior out of Fullerton. Second string offensive line in the ball game for Nebraska. First and 10 at the 25 of Arizona State. Behringer under center. Takes the snap. He boots to the right side, run pass option. He's got Carpenter deep, and he uh, scrambles with the ball and is tackled for a loss on the play. Couldn't get it back to the line of scrimmage. Tackled back at the 28-yard line. Tim Carpenter, a late release on the right side from his tight end spot. One possibility. The other was Cluster Johnson. But Brooke instead decided to run the ball and lost yardage, so it's second and 13. Okay. From the 28 of ASU, opening the fourth frame here. Behringer may be changing the play. Nebraska in the open set. Two wide outs left, one right. Behringer on an option play on the carry all the way inside the 25. Can't shake the last tackler. Dumped at the 24-yard line. And that's one yard upfield from the original line of scrimmage. So that means it's third down and nine. And the Oscar's having trouble getting untracked here in the third quarter. Number 89 in there. We'll check his number in a moment. Uh, one to the left in the eye. Open set. Brook 
On a gift to the fullback on a trap play, pulls, pulls his way forward to near the 20-yard line, but it's going to be fourth down. And you're looking at fourth and about six. Here. Sheldon Jackson in motion as a wingman to the tight end spot right side. Pro trips, one back on fourth down and six. Brook takes the snap, wants to throw, three receivers to choose from, lets it go incomplete. Too much on it. Man coverage downfield. It was hold by the intended target. I don't know if Brook threw it away because of the coverage. Jason Verdugo in there at quarterback for ASU now. They keep it on the ground, give it the tailback, and he's met in the backfield for a loss. It was. Terry battled the tailback, tackled by Scott Saltz. Second down, ten and a half to go for Arizona State, moving left to right. As the quarterback Verdugo wants to throw, pocket holds, and the pass deflected with one hand on the ball was Larry Arnold at the Arizona State 29-yard line. And Nebraska in its time package defensively, third and long ASU, they're 21. Verdugo back to throw, pump fake left, throws it off right side. It's intercepted by Nebraska, and it's Terrell Farley. Farley in there for the touchdown! Verdugo winged the ball off to the left side after faking a screen to the right. It hit his intended target and bounced off him into the hands of Terrell Farley, who has done that twice now this year. He returned an interception for a touchdown at Oklahoma State, and he's got his second one of the year. And so the defense, the first to score for the Big Red here in the third quarter. Well, he's really a ball hawk with tremendous instincts and uh, versatility, athletic ability, and uh, he just had no trouble picking that thing off. And low snap from center. Recovered, though. The kick is up. And it's Retzlaff who sends her straight through there. With 12.07 to go in the ballgame, Nebraska leading Arizona State now 70-28. to This is the Nebraska Sports Network. Thanks to the defense, Nebraska gets seven more to make it a nice round 70. 12.07 to go in the ballgame. Uh, Arizona State trailing 70-28. to And the kick off. Here's Retzlaff and here's Kent. Retzlaff hits it. It's end over end and low into the wind, and it's taken at the four-yard line by Hopkins. Middle return 5-10. He's out to the 15. Moves to the right side across the 20. Stumbles and is covered at the 22-23-yard line. That's where ASU will have it first and 10. Travis Toline in there for Nebraska. Jeff Ogard is in there. Scott Saltzman, Toline at rush end left side. Snap to Verdugo. Gives it to his tailback. Nothing there. Michael Martin. Met by four or five red shirt and black shirts, if you will, and it'll be second down. Maybe he picked up a yard from the 23 to the 24, second and nine. Mike Rucker in at uh, right side rush in. Say thanks to the Nebraska Beef Council for bringing you Big Red Football on the radio. Featuring 30 meals in 30 minutes. Your guide to great tasting, nutritious, convenient beef meals. For a coffee call, 800-421-LEAD. And Beachwood Age Budweiser, the king of beers. This Bud's for you. John Hess now in at a rush end spot. From the 24 of ASU. On the right side, Ash. Snap the Verdugo. Two-step drop. Guns at right side. Complete Boyer, 30. 35 to the 36-yard line. Ricky the Rocket Boyer. And so a first down for ASU. Split in right. Flanker left. Ver Verdugo, who takes the snap, gives it to his tail, back off tackle, got a couple. From the 36 to maybe the 38-yard line, Michael Martin on the carry. Huskers played the run tough. John Hess was there. Scott Saltzman was there. Tom in the booth after home games answering your questions, so we'll give you the phone numbers. Says ASU's over the ball in second and eight. Verdugo short drop, throws it off the right side. Good catch. Out beyond the 40 to the 43-yard line, short of what they need, though. Fullman on the coverage of Ricky Boyer, tackled him as the ball arrived. Oscar offense has been shut out here in the second half. Arizona State over the football in the offset eye. Fullback cheated off left. Verdugo under center. Waiting for the snap. Four-man front by NU. Backers plugging in the holes as the quarterback Verdugo gives to his tailback. Pulls his way forward to the 45. Short by a yard and a half. Fourth down coming up. Michael Martin couldn't get to the sticks. Long snap to Anderson. High from center, but he gets the putt off. Deep single safety as Fullman gets underneath it. Does not touch it. Takes a Husker bounce. And will be down by ASU. Was first touched at the 19-yard line. 3.76 on the hang time. NU 81 yards away. And they'll get the ball back with six minutes gone and nine minutes to go in the game. More new linemen in there. Matt Hoskinson in there. Fred Pollock on the left side up front. Behringer still the quarterback. A set. Double tights, double wings. One back. We'll check who that is in a moment. The snap. And the give on a counter. It's Amon Green in big trouble. Loses big time. Line of scrimmage, the 19-yard line, and defensive penetration against this young offensive line. 
Nebraska second and 15, a loss of five in the last play in the open set. Brooke counting, uh, getting his starting count, throws the ball right side, complete to uh, Kenny Cheatham from the 20 out to the 23-yard line after he catches it and falls forward. So on second and 15, Cheatham comes up with a chunk. Justin Dragoo, the middle linebacker, made the play, and the clock runs with 8.09 to go, and Nebraska heads 70 to 28. They're going to spot that ball shy of the 24-yard line, right at the 24, so it's going to be third down and about five. A lot of these guys you'll see uh, down the road the next year or so playing, but right now they're going against starters, and they're running fourth team. Two tights, two wings. Cheatham to the left side, Lance Grant to the right side, Amon Green the tailback, third down, five in you. Brooke calls his starting count, drops back to throw, three-step drop, fade pattern, left side, Cheatham there, can't get to it, overthrown. That wind's got to be tricky. It's really blowing out of the north. And now Nebraska looking at fourth down. So Jesse Cush to punt it away. His second punt this afternoon. Boy, he had a boomer the first time. 73-yard punt. Down at the one-yard line. Cush stands at his own 10. He'll kick against the wind. And the ball delivered. He hits it from the 15-yard line. Line drive into the wind, and it carries big time. Sends Simmons back. And then Hugh downs the ball. Boy, Cush has really done a good job this year on a limited number of punts. 4.15 on the hang time against the wind for Jesse Cush. And here's the snap and the give off the left side. ASU across the 30 to the 36-yard line. Maybe the 37, the running back Michael Martin off tackle left. Another snap and the give to the tailback. First down across the 40, keeps his feet, plows forward out to near the 45. Michael Martin once more. All kinds of new folks in the ballgame now for Nebraska. Michael Martin Murphy. Uh, Mel Williams on the stop that time, Kent. And the snap on first down Verdugo to his tailback again. Martin broke a tackle out across the 50 to the 49-yard line of uh, the uh, Cornesters. Michael Martin again on the ground. Here into the ball game now for Bruce Snyder, the uh, Arizona State head coach, is Steve Campbell at quarterback. After Eric Nelson is the tackle in question, I believe, Kent. Well, I don't know. I don't think so. He's an offensive player, Eric Nelson. Could be Derek Allen. I'm not sure. Well, Nelson's listed as a de defensive tackle. They've got a lot of folks in there who you yeah. don't see very often. Second down and four for Arizona State. And a snap to the quarterback and a give to the tailback. And again, it is Michael Martin. And he got it down to near the 46-yard line of Nebraska. Maybe a pick short of what they need. Clock runs, six minutes to go, nine minutes gone in the fourth period of play. Michael Hoffman in there at a tackle spot on the right side. 5'9", 230, sophomore from Spencer, Nebraska, number 50. Pride and joy, Spencer. Quarterback sneak by uh, Steve Campbell. And I think he got it. He needed only a couple of inches. Needed to get it near the 45-yard line, and I think he got it inside the 45. Just out the, outside the 46 of Nebraska, and they've got the first down on the quarterback sneak, penetrating the 45s so between the 45 and 44. And now they will stop the clock to move the sticks. First down, Arizona State. Schmedeke in the uh, secondary, along with Mike Roberts on this series. Mike Roberts, a junior out of Omaha, 6'1", 175 pounds. Stopped on the at uh, Roverback. They rate Arizona State as having the fourth most difficult schedule in America. Isn't it ironic how many teams have uh, the most difficult schedule yeah. in America when they play yeah. Nebraska? Funny how that works out, isn't it? It's Michigan State last week, same thing. Yeah, first and 10. ASU, 45-yard line in you. Back to pass as Campbell has time. Now rush, throws long. Man coverage incomplete. D.B. Schmedeke bumped into the would-be receiver Boyer. And Eric Nelson with nice pressure on Campbell. Eric Nelson didn't play a whole lot of ball prior to coming here. About one or two years of high school ball. First down, give it the tailback. Big yardage up the middle. He goes from the 45 to the 38-yard line of Nebraska. Michael Martin getting some stats here at the expense of Nebraska's threes and fours defensively. Clock runs, 4.42 to go. He picked up yardage to the 38-and-a-half-yard line. It's third down and a long four to go for... The Arizona State Sun Devils. Let's check the running tallies here, Ken. For Arizona State, 150, 167 rushing, 290 through the air, 457 total yards so far. Arizona State, third down, four. Inside the 40 of Nebraska, Campbell, the quarterback. Drops uh, back, gives to his tail back, and he gets a couple. That time, Martin didn't have much luck, and it's fourth down facing Arizona State with a ball at the 40, 37 yard line of Nebraska. And the crowd wants these uh, reserves to shut them down here on fourth and three. Pass left side, incomplete. Nebraska will get the ball. And now we'll see some reserves on the off. The pullback now is Joel McAvick, a tailback, Chad Eicher. Double tights, full house backfield for Terman. Toss sweep left, Eicher on the carry. He bounces off one tackler, carries a man with him, got a two tough yards. He is number 40, and it is Terman. The Terminator takes the snap, gives to his fullback. 
And he uh, gets it across the 40 to the 41-yard line. Billy Legate in there at a fullback, uh, uh, tailback spot. Joel McAvick at the fullback. Who else? Boy. I don't know how many they suited up, but I'll bet you they all see action today. Except for uh, Damon Benning, because he's nursing that uh, hamstring. Joe Horst in there at a tight end. Now we got Josh Cobb in at fullback. And Iker back in at... Uh, Tailback in the full house backfield for Turman. From the 41 yard line, third and seven, and it's an option to the right side. Turman turns it upfield across the 45, pulls between two defenders across the 50 yard line, first down at the ASG 48. Boy, I'll tell you what, Matt Turman, who is as strong as anybody on this football team, pound for pound, go ask Boyd Epley, who, by the way, we don't mention near enough. He is uh, so instrumental on this big red machine, but Turman did a great job in the weight room over the winter. And he really showed his strength there. Yeah, and don't forget, Matt's been to war when, uh, when everything was on the line. All the marbles on the table at Kansas State last year. Everything's on the ground here. First and 10 from the 48. And a play fake, and this isn't on the ground. He dumps it out there complete to his tight end. 45 to the 40, and to the 36-yard line goes for Sean Jackson. For Sean Jackson out of Omaha South. After it was Sherman on the play fake. Threw it out there to pick for Sean and Nebraska with a first and 10 in Arizona State with a player down a 12-yard pickup on the play. Billy Legate, the lone uh, back for Matt Turman. Double tights, double wings. Jock Allen to the left side. Turman may be changing the play. 5-2 front, pretty conventional. Looked at uh, by Arizona State. And Legate in trouble at the line of scrimmage. Hit and bounced back. And they're going to give him forward progress to the 38-yard line. A loss of a yard and a half. Iker is in there at tailback. And Terman, the quarterback, from the 38 of Arizona State. The clock down to a minute 25, 11 on the 25-second on the, uh, clock. Option right, Terman on the keep. Terman in trouble, and he loses more yardage. Third and 13, Terman turns, play fake. Terman wants to throw, goes for the home run. Lance Brown, touchdown! Touchdown, Lance Brown! A 39-yard touchdown strike from Matt Turman on a play fake. The DBs and the backers came in, sucked up on the play fake, and Lance Brown, the 5'11", 185 pound sophomore from Papillion, takes it in, and he can pick him up and put him down. 4.6640, 1.5210 yard dash time. He burned Mitchell Friedman. 77 points on the day if Retzlaff is successful on this point after a jump, which Turman will put down out of the hold of, I believe, Adam Fruit. Here we go. And so, the Oscars look for their 77th point, and they nail it as Retzlaff splits them in with 38 seconds to go. 77 to 28, Nebraska back after this. You're listening to Big Red Radio. We have seen the eighth highest point total by a Nebraska football team in the history of this program with 77 points tying an effort against Army back in 1972. 119 is the top. And you scored 117 against Kearney State, 102 against Creighton, 100 against Wesleyan, 85 against Doan, 84 against Minnesota, 81 against Bellevue, and now 77 today against Arizona State, along with 77 against Army in 72. But again, I think, Kent, that that 84 against Minnesota in 1983 is the one against which the others, uh, this game should be compared because it's the modern era. Those others were uh, way back in the mists when it was really an entirely different ball game and a different program. No question about it. It will be Rex Lapp to kick it off. Got that brace on that left knee. Blew his knee out playing basketball. Or in the offseason, he approaches the ball. Rex Lapp from Waverly hits it, keeps it low against the wind. Hopkins has got it. That'll return to the 10-yard line. Starts to the right to the 15 to the 20. 25, got a blocker, 30. 35, right sideline, 40. And out of bounds. 